please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What up, what up, what up, Jupiter? I'm Kirsten Fisher. And I'm Caroline Gabriel. And as always, we have your JHS Student News for Monday, November 8th, 2021. Let's get right into it. Congratulations to our swim team for making state championships. Both the boys and girls relay teams qualified and are continuing on Stewart this Friday. Good luck to all swimmers. Our boys golf team played well in regionals. Congratulations to James Earl, who qualified as an individual and will be representing Jupiter in the state championship in Orlando. Let's go, James. Giving you a golf clap because you play golf. Take Stock Johnson Scholarship Program. Ninth grade only. If you met with a Take Stock Johnson Scholars representative last week, please remember that your application is due no later than Friday, November 12th. You may either turn in a hard copy of the application into Mrs. Wilbur located in the guidance office or submit the application electronically. An email with the link was sent to your school email address. Seniors, we missed you at the George Snow Scholarship Information Meeting, but do not fret. You can still apply for this amazing opportunity. There are over 100 scholarships available through this one application. For example, did you attend Limestone Creek Elementary? Then apply for the George Snow Scholarship. One JHS senior will be awarded based on this requirement. Are you in the Medical Academy and plan to pursue health care at FAU, PBA, or PBSC? Then apply for the George Snow Scholarship. One JHS senior will be awarded based on this requirement. Many other wonderful scholarships are found within this application. Apply no later than February 1, 2022. To apply, go to www.scholarship.org today. SJ News, the Athlete of the Week is Landon Carr. Landon is a starting sophomore who plays on the varsity football team. Landon is a great athlete and a great teammate. Landon is always striving to get better on and off the field. Landon is a fine young man who represents what a warrior is. Thank you, Landon, for inspiring students and teachers at this school. The teacher of the week is Mr. Siliento. He is an amazing teacher who always makes sure his students are on task and always has a good attitude. Students love being in his class. Congratulations, Mr. C. SGA is hosting a Culver's fundraiser this Tuesday, November 9th from 5 to 9 p.m. All proceeds will support Place of Hope, a local organization that provides homes for foster children and is ranked first in the nation in 2021 for childhood services, youth development, and shelter. Please mention Jupiter High School when you place your order to support this cause. Now, very exciting, we got a car wash Saturday. It is in support of the Criminal Justice Academy. Students are selling tickets to anyone, or you can show up in the JHS bus loop on November 13th from 8.30 to 2 p.m. Now, here's Jasmine with a special message from No Place for Hate. Making a difference doesn't take a lot. Helping someone at their lowest point, creating a bond with someone that is so special, all starts here. Join No Place for Hate. A difference can be made. It starts with you. No Place for Hate is a student-led club that focuses on inclusivity and ending the common stereotype that goes around high school. Ending the groups, bring bullying to an end, being there for each other no matter what. No Place for Hate is a safe place for anyone and everyone. Nobody is judged. Everyone is seen as the same. Our next meeting is at 2.45 p.m. in the Media Center on Monday, November 15th. See you there. Thanks. Childhood Cancer Support Club's next meeting is on Tuesday, November 16th at 2.45 p.m. Members can come to Mrs. Rogers' room 7208 or log on from home. See you there. Attention all JHS students. Our community is in great need of blood donations. So we will be having our first school-wide blood drive this December and we'll begin signups after Thanksgiving break. However, if you're interested in planning, organizing, or helping with our blood drive, please join our Google Classroom code PB4LIVN. All Blood Drive Committee meeting announcements and important information will be announced there. Thank you all so much. Letters for Rose. Come to the club's third meeting. If you're not already a part of the club, it's not too late to join. LFR aims to reduce loneliness among elders during COVID-19 by creating and distributing personalized letters to local nursing homes. One hour of community service will be given per letter you write. Don't miss out on some great community service opportunities for a good cause. Our next meeting is on Wednesday, November 10th. 
in Miss Ellis's room, 4118. Check Google Classroom and Remind for updates. Attention juniors and seniors, applications for the Social Studies Honor Society are now available in Ms. Hansen's room, 6208. The completed applications will be due on November 19th in Ms. Hansen's room, 6208. New members will be notified in January. Seniors that applied last year and were accepted do not need to reapply, but please check our Google Classroom page in December for important information. First priority will be again at its normal location by the ceramics classroom in the courtyard on Tuesday during B lunch. Everybody is invited for fellowship, snacks, and a game. Juniors and seniors, if you would like to join the Science National Honor Society, please listen up! The requirements, you must have a 3.0 GPA or higher overall, a 3.5 GPA in all your science classes, and you must have taken at least one honor science class or higher to apply. Seniors, if you were in the Science National Honor Society last year, you are automatically in again this year. Please be sure you are a member of the Google Classroom. Juniors, if you would like to partake in, if you would like to be a part of SNHS, please join the Junior Google Classroom and fill out the Google form. You will also need to join the Remind Seniors. Katie Studios will be on, this is a new announcement by the way. Seniors, Katie Studios will be on campus tomorrow for Senior Portraits. If you still haven't taken your senior pictures, now is your chance. Katie will be doing the yearbook pose only from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the JHS Auditorium. You must sign up for an on-campus portrait session with Mrs. Muncy in room 4110. Caroline's laughing in the background and it's distracting me. <laughs> and just a reminder, the deadline to take senior portraits for inclusion in the yearbook is November 30th. Underclass yearbook pictures, retakes, and makeups, as everyone that is not a senior. They have been rescheduled for Tuesday, November 16th. Photographers will be on campus from 7.15 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. in the JHS Auditorium. Students, get, students can get photographs anytime throughout the school day and will get a pass to return to class. Interested in competing with DECA? Join us on Tuesday for a quick informational meeting where we will discuss how competitions work, what competition options we have, and much more. Feel free to come with any questions or concerns that you may have. We will be more than happy to help you. If you have any questions regarding the meeting, please reach out to our officers through Google Classroom or our Instagram DMs. We hope to see you there. NHS is sponsoring a food drive, three can and box or box minimum. Community service will be awarded for participation. Drop off items to room 1155 during periods one through six and both lunches. Be sure to label with your name, student number, and grade. Happy Thanksgiving! Tennis. Any girl or boy interested in trying out for tennis this season, please plan on attending the meeting on November 16th right after school in room 4212. Paperwork and important information will be given out. Any questions, please reach out to Coach Babcock in room 4212 or Coach Lang in room 4107. This is the last week that Mrs. Buscemi's Spanish 2 classes are selling hand-woven bracelets and purses made by artisans in Guatemala and Nicaragua. Bracelets cost $5 and the bags cost $10. Each one comes with a tag specifying which artisan created it and they all have unique designs. Look for them during both lunches in the courtyard. And now the moment you have been waiting for, that is right, we have the birthdays of the day! Woo! Woo! Happy birthday to Mr. Brooks, Chili Byrne, Jackson Cleveland, Christopher Kripe, Sabella Yang, Demonte G, Lucas Kirkman, Brianna Leary, Zoe Shammy, and last but certainly not least, Isabella Swiger. I hope you all have a very happy birthday. And now please stay tuned for Felix with a message about Holocaust Education Week. Aside from that, that is all the news we have for today. Have a great week, Warriors. Bye. What's up, Jupiter? It's your boy, Felix. This is the Holocaust Education Week. The Holocaust was the state-sponsored persecution and murder of six million Jews by the Nazis. Its allies and collaborators. Check out this video and link to an article by retired basketball legend Ray Allen on why we should all learn about the Holocaust. Have a great week, Warriors. In today's world, it's more important than ever for people to learn that even when they are surrounded by hate, it is possible for them to do right. I've asked myself a lot of tough questions about the Holocaust. 
What's your question? How could this have happened? How could human beings be so cruel to one another? Why? 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 Why is it so easy to teach people to hate? How does someone go from being a neighbor or a friend? Parent or a husband or wife at home and then do that to other people. What would you do in that moment? Is there a way for me to change the future based on what I've seen in the past? Do you want to help break through ignorance and divisions that are plaguing our society? Start by asking the questions.